For the next few days, I'm not going to be eating. Let me explain. The next few days, I'm going to be participating in intermittent... Intermittent... Intermittent fasting. Next few days, I'm going to be go... How do you say it? Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. Basically, for the next few days, I'm just not going to be eating any food. No food, only water. So it's just a complete water fast. Am I going to starve and give up? Or am I going to starve and make it through the challenge? <laughs> the most I've ever gone was like three when I was like hella depressed. And if you guys are asking why I'm doing this, it's because there's actually a lot of health benefits. And no, I am not telling you guys to go out and starve yourself. Do not do this. I've always wanted to do fasting. So I'm going to show you guys how it is. This is my physique before. So, uh... This is what I look like before. Yes, I have back acne. Oh, this is my biggest insecurity, so if you have back acne out there, you're not alone. We're definitely gonna see differences. Some people say they lose 10 to 20 pounds just within a week. I don't know what could happen to me. Zero food. Now I'm gonna weigh myself. I am 173 pounds. You guys might be asking me, Bodhi, what's gonna be your last meal? We still not balling yet, so we still gotta eat struggle meals, you feel me? So we got, we got some bread and we got some peanut butter. <laughs> Bro, we don't even got a toaster. <laughs> I also don't want to make a big meal because then my stomach will expand and then I'm gonna be hungry as shit for the next few days It is Wednesday, January 3rd at 5.53 I haven't ate all day and starting my fast my last meal will be peanut butter toast <laughs> and uh, my food for the next Fucking however long I usually eat food fast, but now I want to like savor it <laughs> It's gonna be so hard to not eat. I love food Food brings me happiness all the flavors coming in my mouth wait I'm gonna miss this, even though my mouth is extremely dry. <laughs> this is my last bite of food. It's done. I can't eat anymore. Well, shit. This already sucks. I'm still hungry. I'm with Hayden and Tyrone right now, oh and God. they're about to do a mukbang. They're just gonna eat amazing food, and I'm just sipping. Period Good tacos. tacos. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh, my fucking God. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> They just fucking destroyed that whole thing and I just sat there looking at it, bro. They just sat there for 30 minutes eating the best food I've ever seen in my fucking life. Tyron's leaving to Korea today. Everybody in the comments say, he saved Ty Rizzi because he's getting on a 60. Hey, y'all better subscribe or I'll kill you. Oh, God. Subscribe! Oh, look! Oh, shirts! We all wear them! Good quality! It looks amazing. Asian man wearing shirt! I got nuts shit all over it. Link in bio to buy them! Buy right now! Buy right now! We even have Afraid of Men shirts! Right here. Right there. Link in bio! Follow my Instagram and everything here, too! Or else you're- you're a- you're a goofy goober! Please buy the shirts. I feed my family with the money. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're hungry, please. Two hours, 49 minutes. Bro, I'm so fucking hungry. Right here. Love you, bro, I love you. We gon' make it, baby. We gon' make it. You're doing this for bro. Fuck. Bro, we gon' make it, bro. I promise, bro. This is our year. This is our fucking year. We got this. Yeah. Fuck. This is so sad. All right, I just got home. Eight hours and 50 minutes since I have ate food. To be honest with you, I don't feel hungry right now. Earlier when they were eating the tacos in front of me, I was like, damn, bro. Damn, it was starting to set in like, damn, I'm gonna be hungry as fuck. I'm not that hungry right now. I got these electrolyte packets that I put in my water so I have electrolytes. If not, I will literally be dead. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. Good morning. See, the thing is, it's not morning anymore. I woke up at like 1.40 and I've just been in bed because I have no motivation to get up because I'm hungry as shit. So now it is 3.23 and I'm still in bed. I have officially been fasting for 21 straight hours. I am hungry. I'm not really a breakfast person at all, but I'm hungry. Like, I can eat like a cow right now. My food is waiting for me. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Alright. 169.6. I'm gonna do all the calculations right here. This is how much weight I've currently lost. Officially over a day. Some things I've noticed. I get irritated really fucking easy right now. And I'm hungry as shit. Simple as that. I'm hungry as fuck and I get irritated easy. Right now I'm about to hit the gym. I know you're probably thinking, buddy, why are you hitting the gym? Gotta stay healthy. I don't know. This is literally just electrolytes. This is not food. The comments are gonna be like, oh, he, he ate at five minutes and 40 once. Shut your dumb ass up. Also, with the weighing process, I wore my pants two times while I was getting weighed. So, from now on, I'm gonna just wear the pants and the belt I was wearing while getting weighed. So, it's all the same. Because I already know somebody's gonna be like, He actually wore a belt! Shut your dumb ass up! That shirt's ugly. You should be wearing the I Hate Women shirt. I hate women. <laughs> <laughs> 
as long as you could take Yeah! Said I wouldn't be this, now my was a keyless When I boss up, so my mama I'm so hungry Said I wouldn't be shit, now my was a keyless When I boss up, so my mama I don't be I'm so low energy, oh my god Selling faded, getting wasted Chilling with a bitch, she told me she was uh -huh. I'm so hungry. <laughs> so right about now, we're near 31 hours of no food. Chick-fil-A, Canes, McDonald's, Taco Bell. I don't give a fuck what it is. Pastas. I'm just in the mood for chicken. I want every type of chicken right now. Oh my god. Or like a sandwich, bro. Like a steak. I'm really hungry. By the way, I have not shit at all. I didn't realize how big food was in my life. I know that might sound stupid. You don't know how valuable something is until it's gone. That's why I wanted to do this challenge. First, to test my mind state, but also I like putting myself in uncomfortable positions. Growing up, I went through a lot of uncomfortable situations so that's what i was used to so this challenge is just putting myself in an uncomfortable situation and see how i do if you're going through a lot right now in your life don't look at it as a negative look at it as a positive because you're gonna learn from that negativity in your life and boss up from it in the future you're gonna learn to cherish the small things i see a lot of people around me that complain about everything from the car they drive from the clothes they have from what they eat they complain about everything it's because they've never had to struggle in their life if you've gone through a struggle you know how it feels to come up from that you're thankful for the lows because that that taught you to cherish the highs. Me being at the lowest points of my life taught me so much. They taught me to cherish the smallest things. It could be anything. And that's why I value uncomfortable situations. Think about it like this. Nothing in life is a loss as long as you learn from it. Because if you learn from a loss, then it's not a loss. Then you have knowledge and that knowledge is priceless. If you're in a bad situation right now, do not take it as a loss. You have to realize you're in that position right now, but you will make it out. Stop making excuses about your situation and turn it around. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to. Like I said, don't try to get 100% better tomorrow. Better yourself 1% every single day and you're gonna see results. Anyways, I love you guys and I think I'm about to go to sleep because I'm fucking tired. See y'all when I wake up. I just got up and look what we hit. Yeah, yeah, come on. The growth on this channel has been fucking crazy. Before I posted the vape video, I was at 3K subscribers. Now we have 50. I just want to say I fucking love each and every single one of you. I'm so glad you guys are here for this journey. I won't let you guys down. I fucking love each and every single one of you. We gonna make it, baby. We gonna make it. When I was younger, a lot of people around me wanted to be a YouTuber. And so did I. But the difference is now that I'm becoming one and they gave up on their dream. Never fucking give up on your dream. You live one life. Don't fucking settle for less. Go for what you you want follow your fucking dreams we're coming up on the 48 hour mark i'm starting to really feel it i'm very hungry very low energy trying to make it through it officially has been 48 hours let's see how much weight i lost holy shit bro 168.2 i've lost like five pounds in the first day and we're just on day two i'm super tired i've been in bed all day <sighs> Some symptoms I'm having from this challenge. First, I feel really low energy, which makes sense because I haven't ate food in 48 hours. Second, I'm really demotivated. Like, my room is like a mess. And third, I've been getting like super cold. Like right now, I'm fucking freezing. I don't know if that has to do with not eating, but I've been getting cold way easier for some reason. Also, the thought of Wingstop Ranch can't get out of my mind. Also, for some reason, Mexican chips and salsa. My Instagram feed went from big booty Latinas and Asians to fucking food. I didn't realize how much I loved food, but this is a mental test. This is a physical test, and I'm ready to go through it. I don't know if I could do this. Of course I could do this. Of course I can. You know who the fuck I also, click the link in the description. We got the afraid of women tees, afraid of men tees also. And while you're at it, go follow my IG and Snapchat. But anyways, I'm gonna keep you updated. It is currently 5.30 a.m. It's hard for me to go to sleep. So far, I'm having the hardest time right now. My whole TikTok feed is food. You know what I like? I can already tell the crunch. <laughs> I'm gonna go food. white rice, no beans, and chicken. And it looks so good, bro. Like, I've watched this girl eat a fucking sandwich for the past 20 minutes, bro. Well, tomorrow's the third day, so hopefully we make it all the way through. <laughs> Today was definitely the hardest day so far. All right, I'm gonna see you guys when I wake up. I just woke up and it's four o'clock and I know you're probably like, Bodhi, why are you sleeping in so much? It's because I want to or else I'm going to have to deal with the hunger. <laughs> it's been around 70, 71 hours, almost at the three day mark. I've thought about quitting. At the start of this challenge, I didn't know how long I would want to do this. But for some reason, a week stemmed in my mind. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a week. I think a week makes or breaks quitters with a lot of things. We just hit 100K on IG. If you haven't already, go follow me. You feel me? I love you guys. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lay in bed until it's time to weigh in. Oh! 
Currently it is 5.45, so three days officially that I have not touched food. Let's weigh ourselves. Oh my god. Yep. 164. Lost a good amount of weight. I didn't think this challenge was gonna be that hard, but god damn, it is. Dude, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I swear to god. Let's keep going. It is 10.48 p.m. I officially brought a heater in my room because I am fucking freezing. I'm also on the phone with Caleb <laughs> and we're playing Fortnite. The only thing keeping me sane, bro. I'm gonna keep you updated. Let's see how much I am today. Wow, I actually didn't lose that much today. I didn't even lose that much today. 163.6 from yesterday to today i've only lost like a pound i hope this challenge inspires you guys i'm not telling you to go out and do a seven day fast but what i am telling you is when there's something hard beating you down every single fucking day you can power through it no matter what physically emotionally you can get through it no matter what and by the way it is day four and i have not shit at all we gotta keep pushing baby i got up like a few hours ago and i've just been laying in bed and hayden just randomly pulled up to my house dude this man Man has been telling me that he's been craving Wingstop since day zero. Dude, my whole for you page, bro. It's just Wingstop. Open up your phone right now. Watch it be some like big booty Latina. No, that's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. You're doing that to yourself, bro. Looks so good, bro. Oh. It's officially 545, fifth day. We're going to weigh myself. Wow. I can see different. Wow. <laughs> 161.8. When I started this challenge, I was 173. We came a long way. We still got two more days to go. It is currently the next day. It is uh, Tuesday at 12.38. Uh, I'm with Gunter right now, and uh, this motherfucker's hungry. Ultra hungry. He <laughs> is begging me to take him to a buffet. Bro has two plates, not one. Oh my, my god. god. Are what? you serious? Why are you moaning? Bro's moaning at the table. Why are you looking at me? No, 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 no. You got two more plates. Why are you putting it near me? Get that away from me. It is 7.27. Right when I got home from dropping off Gunter, I crashed out. I don't have energy anymore. <laughs> I've been getting a headache for the past few hours, like a really bad one. We're on our like 145 now. We just passed the sixth day. <sighs> I miss food so much, bro. Wait in time. 159. I don't even know how I'm losing weight, to be honest with you. Am I pissing it out? Because that's the only thing I'm doing. I can't wait for tomorrow. I can't fucking wait. You guys are probably confused why it's night. Uh, I just woke up. 5.45. So it officially has been a week that I have not ate food. Bodie, did you sleep until 5 o'clock? Yeah. I did. Dude, I am so low energy. I don't feel that bad today. First day and second day and third day, I felt like shit. Majority of the day. Fourth day, I didn't feel that bad. Fifth day, I didn't feel that bad. Sixth day, I felt okay. And seventh day, which is today, I don't feel that bad. Well, first, we, let's weigh ourselves. To be honest with you guys, I didn't know if I was gonna make it all the way through. But no matter what, you do anything you fucking put your mind to. Let's weigh ourselves. Ugh. Uh, 158.2 we made it this is what my body looks like Can you guys tell the difference in my face? I feel like my face is a little skinnier. This is how much weight I lost throughout the whole challenge. I think it's around 15 pounds, which is absolutely insane. I'm literally getting out of breath from speaking. <laughs> I just came back from Walmart and I bought my food. <laughs> I'll show you guys my haul. Dried fruit, because I can't have normal fruit for some reason. I got some soup, more soup, and more soup. I can't eat normal for about four days after this challenge. Look at it, so appetizing, haha. <laughs> at this point, I'm not even hungry. This is my first taste of food in seven full days. Bon appetit. -y. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Mm. It's literally just noodles and broth, but it tastes so good. Wow. I love food. Dude, I literally feel the warmness going down my body, bro. I didn't realize how much our life revolves around food. When I was out with my friends and I wasn't eating, it felt wrong. When I was at home and I didn't eat, it felt wrong. Like, just food is everywhere and it's supposed to be ate. Food is bonding time. Food is love. Food is everything in between that, bro. I know I might sound crazy talking about food like this, but seriously, bro. Dude, I can't stop smiling because I'm eating this, bro. I said it got it feels so good in me. See you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey, they said I wouldn't be this. Now my wish is keyless. When I buy a shot for my mama, I can be.